All right, it goes a little something like this. Here we go. Hi, guys. My name is Lonnie, and I'm going to do my first tutorial. I want to do the smoky eye look, but I'm actually going to do mascara instead of eyelashes because I honestly, I just like them personally better. Okay, so we're going to start out with Estee Lauder Double Wear, and it's the dust color. This is my foundation. And then I actually put a little bit on my hand, just so it just, I don't know, comes out better, I think. And then I use a brush. So, I'm going to do this. Cover everything all up. That way I have no flaws at the time. <laughs> and you can actually do any color that you want for this look. It will show up just as good. It just depends on what your preference have. Just make sure you blend everything in real nice. You definitely have to wash your hands after you're done. Because <laughs> with a smoky eye, I use my fingers instead of the brushes. I just, I think it blends better. all done. Okay, and then the last thing I like to do is just rub it around with my hands. That way, I just feel like the color mixes in real nice. And this one sets really nice, too. You just have to give it a couple minutes and then the color will come out real pretty if you do like this style. Okay, and I actually don't use concealer. I know a lot of people do, but I, I didn't personally like it as much as everybody else. So I'm just gonna do my normal bronzer. And I got this one at City Color Sunkiss Trio looks like this and I just do a little bit of the tan just to give me a little more color with this foundation I think it kind of brightens it up a little bit Let's see here. makes you look kind of like sun tanned it's nice and then I put a little bit of bronzer, not too much, and I always glow because it can come out really dark and fast on your brush. And then I just blend it in right on the sides here. And then I use a little bit of highlighter at the end just to give a little bit of contour to your face. And I do a shape of an E that way it gets all around and then after that I kind of set it with a little powder I just rub it all in just to make it look a little more complex just like that it's real simple that's one good thing about it and then I go to my blush just to give me a little more color. That's one big thing. I love color. <laughs> Let me see here. And just kind of lightly brush it on to the side a little bit. You can do an E with this too. Um, I personally don't usually just because I feel like it gets on everywhere. <laughs> okay. And now we're actually up to our eyeliner which I'm using Estee Lauder again. I'm using the charcoal. It's like the crayon one. I love this. It actually works perfect. You can just roll it and it just goes right on. 
So I'm just going to slightly do the line, if you can see there. I actually don't do the water line. I don't like it really inside my eye too much. I just like it on the outside a tiny bit. I don't like to make it too dark because then my eyes look like a raccoon and nobody likes that. <laughs> so I'm just going to do slightly over here too. And one thing about this look, it's actually really easy. I do it almost every day for work. So that's one thing. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner. I start that. And then I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I just, I have this routine where I'll do like three at a time. Like I'll do three colors and then I do three times each time. So I'm going to go with a white base. I just think it looks so pretty. And I just feel like one's not enough. You kind of need a little more to cover it up. So there's the second one. And then you just have it slightly over. You don't have to push too hard. It'll come out real easy. And the color I'm using, I actually got this one at Walmart. <laughs> so this one is Guilty Pleasure, and it's Hard Candy. Hard Candy's colors, they show so nice. They're real nice and bright. Especially if you like, like, darker colors. They have a lot of those. They have some neutral. Just depends on what you go for. Okay, so you can see. All right, and then after that, I'm gonna put a little bit up here. That just blends it in a little more. I'm gonna do one eye at a time so you can see the big difference in my eyes. All right, and then I'm gonna actually do, this was the Victoria's Secret Midnight Jewels. Okay, so we're gonna do the Sapphire color. That's what gives you your nice blue color. And it's pretty dark and it's very messy. So one thing, make sure you do not smear it on your face because I do that countless times. It always makes me mad. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do like the, the my shape of my eye. It's like a little bit of a point to it. So I always just kind of go follow it. It just depends on how your eyes shape. Some are almond, some are... They have like a flat edge. It just depends. But either way, you can still do this. So I'm just blending it in a little bit. And the three times, I'm still going to do the same way. I'll just show you. Okay. Make sure it's not all dark. You don't like it too dark, but you want it dark enough so you can see it real nice and see it the whole day. See, it's like that style. And then I'm going to put a little more on and make a more of a point. I'm going to pull my eye up a little bit. I'm just going to slightly make a wing. I'm going to have it like that. This is my shade of smoky eye. I like it a little darker than you're supposed to do. Some people, they blend it with brushes and stuff like that. So it, it comes out a little different. It'll come out lighter or it'll come out like more faded. Okay. And then, I know it looks dark right now, but we're actually going to like blend it in a little more and it'll look a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to do one more shade of the blue, just to do the outline. Alright. And then it's going to look like that. See how I have like a little wing on the side? And then with the eyeliner, you can angle it a little more too. And then I'm going to actually do the black color. I'm not sure what this one was called. But it, it's going to be in your palette. It'll be right beside the purple if you do get that. Alright. And this one has a lot of sparkle to it. That's why I like it. It's like a black sparkle. Put a little more on the side here. This really makes the color pop. And just do a little bit more to follow it. See? I'm blending in the colors a little more. And then I'm going to go back to my white. I'm going to brush this all around up here. And that gets that good, nice color. It blends it in a little more. I'm just going to 
mix these in here. That way it has like that line. Okay. And looks like that. All right. And then, see, hands very messy. The next I'm going to do, I like to put a, like a little shimmer. It just, it kind of gives it an added touch. It's up to you. You don't have to do this for a smoky eye. I was doing the New York Roll On Shimmer. It's like a silver color. I just put, this is a nice night out one too for a style. It just kind of gives it a little flair. Just like that. Real easy. Just slightly put it on. Alright. And then, after that, I'm going to do my other eye. I'm going to do it right the same way. I'm going to have to do another finger. So i got to grab some napkins. I'm going to do the same color, white. Just blend that in softly. I'm doing three times again. Just so you can see the color real nice. <laughs> All right, and then a little bit up here, like I did in the other eye, so it looks the same. And then after that, I'm going to go back to my blue, that salt fire color I was talking about. Get a good bit on there, make a point again, just kind of go from the side and work your way into your corner of your eyes. You want, I do half instead of the full eye. A lot of people, they like to do one color there and then they put like two colors up here. Like about your brow line and then your... Okay, and then after that, you're just going to do one more of these on the blue. Just want to blend it in real nice. Do that little wing again. Be like that. And then we're going to do some black, just to finish it off real quick. <laughs> After that, do two more of the black. Okay, and then after that, it's going to look like that. And then now, I'm going to actually grab a napkin. I'll be right back. Write a song. And it goes like, ooh, what I wouldn't do. To wrap my name on your heart, get to wrap in my arms, baby, all around you. And it goes like, hey, girl, I'm blown away. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply your eyeliner. So we're going to go back to that same one, the Estee Lauder one. Looks like that. We're just gonna slightly go over your line just to make it blend in a little bit more. And then we're gonna do like that. Making it real nice and straight. I like to color mine in real full. Look like that. And then we'll do this side. Like that. See, I put a good bit on. That's why it takes me a little longer than most people. And then I actually need to do the silver just to make my other eye match real quick. And put a little bit up here just to make it blend. And then we'll put a little bit of white also just to give it that pop color. And do it just like that. That way both eyes. Let's see, I'm going to put a little more over here because it seems like it's a little light. Just like that. Okay, now we're actually on to our mascaras, which 
It's very easy. All I do is I apply my primer. It's going to look like this. And it's the Double Extend Beauty Tips Mascara L'Oreal. I don't know if they have this one anymore. It's kind of older, but it works really well. Got it all toe and I did. So I'm just going to apply it, make my eyelashes real long, and pull. And this isn't actually anything like your mascara. This is just going to make your eyelashes look a little longer. And they'll also be more spread out and more full this way. So we're just going to finish it just like that. Excuse my dog. She's outside right now. That's why she's making all that barking sound. Okay. Do that eye. I'm going to finish right here. You want to try to spread them out as best as you can. So they'll look like this. Kind of like you're putting, looks like glue on your eyes, honestly. Just keeps your colors more intact and just makes your eyelashes look nicer. Instead of having to use fake eyelashes, they hurt. <laughs> they rip out your eyelashes half the time. Tried it one time, not for me. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna close your eyes. That way you can see. Alright, so we're gonna actually do the other side of it. We're just gonna apply the mascara. Same way you did your primer. Just go ahead and fill in all that. And I actually do three mascaras because I like it really dark. You can do one if you like like a light little uh, eyelashes. Like if you do browns or something like that. That's always a good one. <laughs> Mine is actually I think extremely black. I think that's what it's called. Okay, I'm just spreading them all out here. One thing Ulta, they actually taught me when they were doing a makeover on me. When you're doing your mascara, push them out and like twirl your brush. It'll get your eyelashes a little bit better. Just make sure you're still spreading it out while you're doing that. Okay, let's just see. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do the other eye. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I hum a lot. <laughs> it's just entertaining when you don't have music on right away. Here. And just do that little trick I taught you. And kind of move them around. Just make sure you get every eyelash. And I actually don't use a little clipper. Like the ones that um, people use for eyelashes. They'll clip them or they'll curl them. I don't like to do that stuff. I like to just go kind of sort of natural. I have a lot of product, but I don't like to kind of like fool with them that much, I guess. And the added effects. <laughs> but everybody has their preference. Okay, so it's going to look like that, nice and even. And then after that, I'm going to apply my new mascara, Scandalous Eyes Show Off Mascara, and it's a pink bottle, and the brush is really nice. Let me show you. So you can see, see the little lines, it has like that little comb look, love it. It actually applies really nice too. And this one is also extremely black. 
kind of just gives you that full look. And I do my bottom eyes at the end. I don't usually like to put too much on them because I feel like it does too much to your look. That's just me though. Okay. Getting all my eyelashes again. them a little bit and then I'll look like that and then the last one I'm actually gonna do it is the cover girl pretty sure this is a Katy Perry one I had the mega curl flamed up this brush is my absolute favorite it has like a tiger print and everything I don't know something about it it just it works perfect for me makes them real full and they actually stick up a little bit. See, I like push them down a little bit in there so they stick up more. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to show you on this side. So what you're going to do, I'm, I'm going to close my eyes so that way you can see it a little bit better. down a little bit and get every eyelash. Gonna move your brush in the like circle rotation. Just like that. Okay. And then the last thing I do with like my mascara, I don't like to curl it so I kind of just push them up a little bit with my fingers. It always seems to do pretty good for me. But if you do want to try curling it, that does work pretty well. It'll just do basically what I'm doing. It's just be careful with your eyelashes. Make sure you don't yank at them at all because they are really easy to pull out. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then you can spread them around a little bit. I like to put mine to the side a little bit. That cat eye kind of. People usually move theirs more all to the center but you can see I, I just I think it looks better on me okay so we're gonna do our bottom eye since we didn't get to do that and I'm actually just gonna do this one right here the same one just to make it blend in just not much you just kind of slightly push it on Okay, now actually I'm just going to do my lipstick. Now I'm thinking a pink looks the best with a smoky eye. You could do reds. This one is really nice. This is also from Estee Lauder. And this color is hot cherry. And it's like really bright. So this color would look really good if you're going out at night. But in the daytime I like to kind of keep it a little lighter touch. So I'm going to use... This one is the 54 Passion Fruit Shimmer. It can look just like that. I'm just going to lightly color in my lips. I actually don't use the lip liners too much. I think they do look really nice. I just feel like they're a little much for me. So if you do want to do a lip liner, I could do a tutorial on doing one of those sometime for you. And just make sure you get it all around your lips. Kind of shape them a little bit with your lipstick. Okay. And then I like to put like a little gloss with it. Go ahead and rub it in. And then go ahead and make sure that all the lines aren't showing. And just make sure it's all around and not on your teeth. I've done that before. <laughs> I actually did that at school one day. Somebody was like, um, there's something on your teeth. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I was like, awkward. <laughs> okay. 
And just make sure it looks like that. Okay. So, next, I'm going to just put my little shimmer. And this is Estee Lauder 2. This is the Pure Color Envy. And it's 240 Passion Fuchsia color. And it's not really too much of a pink. It's more like a kind of glossy look. Like it's kind of like a white pink. Let's see here. The color's showing up a lot more because of the lipstick. It makes it pop real nice. Let's see here, go ahead and put it a little bit like that. It looks just like that after you're done. Okay, so that's the end of this segment. So if you want any other little tips that I have, just go ahead and like this and tell me some feedback. I mean, obviously I didn't do perfect. Had a little smear and stuff like that, but I fixed that all up. That's one thing you want to check with those eyeshadows. Make sure they don't smear all down because it can look really bad. But as a result, it's not too bad. It's just a nice midnight look. Or if you want to do in the daytime, it's not too bad either. It just depends if you like your stuff darker in the day also. But let me know what you think, okay? Thank you guys. Bye.